Hello everybody, today I would like to discuss knowledge on nerve curves that are essential for the effective uh, creation of smoothly matched uh, surfaces. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'll use the control point curve to illustrate the points. Okay, notice if I click on the control point curve, there is this option called the degree. Okay, let me change the degree to 1. Okay, basically you can see that if I change the degree to 1, what I get is essentially uh, straight polylines. Okay, let me change the degree to 2. Okay, if I use degree 2, you'll notice that I get some kind of curve, but they are somewhat kind of stiff. Let me change the degree to 3. Notice that when degree 3 curves are used, the curve is now more smooth. So you can see that uh, the degree corresponds to the progressive level of smoothness of the curve. Okay, now let's talk about another uh, essential information uh, that is required for the correct creation of a uh, curve with the correct kind of degree. Okay, basically this information states that n degree requires a minimum of m plus 1 control points. What does this mean? This means that for example, if you want to create a degree 3 curve, you will need a minimum of 3 plus 1 control point, which is 4, four control points. Okay, so let's uh, go back to Rhino again to illustrate this point. Okay, I'm going to use the control point curve again. Now I want to create a degree 3 curve. So I create 1, 2, 3, 3 points. Okay, I've created a curve using 3 points. Let me use the what command to look into the information of uh, pertaining to, to, to this curve. Okay, now you can see that although we state to create a degree 3 curve, what we got is actually a degree 2 curve. Why is that so? This is because we have uh, used 3, which is uh, 2 plus 1 control points to create the curve. So what we get is essentially a degree 2 curve. So in order for us to create a degree 3 curve, we'll need 4 control points, which is uh, 3 plus 1. Okay, so let me illustrate this point again. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now I have created a curve with four control points. Let's use the what command again to look into the information of the curve. Okay, now we can see that the curve is a uh, is a degree three curve. Okay. Okay, now I would like to uh, discuss about control points. And their relationship to curve continuity or smoothness of curve matching. Okay, I'm going to draw two degree three curve first. I'm going to use the match command. Okay, match. Match is actually found under here. The curve to the match curve command or you can just type match at the command prompt okay so it asked me for one curve to change one curve to match okay okay you notice that if i set the position continuity the the condition is that only the ends are touching so that means to say that uh, for position con continuity, uh, the requirement is that the the, the ends uh, meet. Okay. If I set to tangent, you notice that uh, the end are somewhat a bit smooth. Okay. Let's uh, start at tangent and look into the structure of the control points. Okay. You notice that for the tangent match curve. There is a uh, certain conditions being being met. Uh, that is that that is that the three points for forming the 
the, the ends here where, where the two end meets are actually forming a straight line. Okay, this is a condition for creating a tangent uh, match set of curves. Okay, so if I were to move the control point anywhere along the straight line, the tangency will still be main still be maintained. Okay. If I were to move the three points together or ro rotate them together, the tendency can also be maintained as well. As long as we meet the condition of having the three points forming a straight line, the tendency will be ma maintained. So now let's uh, look into curvature continuity match. So I'm going to use the mesh curve command again. Okay, mesh this to this. Okay, now I want to set the continuity to curvature. Okay, you notice that if I set the continuity to curvature, not only is the position condition being met, the tangent condition is also met by having these ends are smoothly matched. Curvature add the additional condition of extending the smoothness further away from the, from the ends okay <coughs> so let's turn on the control point to look at the structure okay you notice that um, the position condition is visible when the two, two ends meet the tangent condition is also visible by the indication of the straight line for forming uh, being formed by the three points however the this point here which is controlling the curvature cannot be visually uh, decoded okay. but I, what is uh, essential for us to know is that the first point controls the position, the second point controls the, the tangency, and the third point controls the, the curvature. Okay, I would like to stop my uh, video now, and hopefully um, this knowledge will uh, help you in the effective manipulation and matching of curves, which are actually essential for the successful creation of smoothly matched surfaces. Okay, see you around. Bye.